The Northern Ireland Protocol, a key part of the treaty which took the UK out of the EU, came into force six months ago. But the UK and the EU are still arguing over its implementation, and the new DUP leader, Edwin Poots, wants it scrapped entirely. So what's this all about? The protocol is designed to avoid a hard border on the island of Ireland. It requires Northern Ireland to apply EU law in areas like customs and agriculture, which means that goods entering Northern Ireland from Great Britain need new paperwork and checks to prove they comply. The most extensive checks involve food. Every pint of milk and ham sandwich crossing the Irish Sea requires a special certificate. But these checks have not yet been fully implemented. When they are, supermarkets have warned that some of their supply chains could become unviable, meaning less choice and availability for Northern Ireland shoppers. So what are the UK and the EU arguing about? The UK wants the EU to be more flexible and agree special exemptions to allow trade to flow more freely between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. But this is a non-starter for the EU, which argues that EU law needs to be fully applied to prevent non-compliant goods entering the EU single market through Northern Ireland. The EU says that the UK could remove the need for checks and paperwork entirely if it agreed to align with the EU's rules on animal and plant health. But the UK minister in charge, David Frost, has said he can't agree to that because the UK needs control of these areas to strike new trade deals with other countries. That looks like a stalemate. To reach a solution, both sides need to be willing to compromise. The UK should be willing to agree to align with EU laws temporarily. After all, trade deals will take years to finalise and phase in. This will allow more time to gather data and evidence about goods crossing the Irish Sea and the risks they pose to the EU single market. Which means longer term, the EU should be willing to move away from its zero risk approach and ensure checks and controls are proportionate. The UK and the EU should work together to find bespoke solutions to manage the Irish sea border. But the longer they continue to blame each other for the protocol's problems, the more time is lost. <laughs>